Hi, everyone. Let's talk about the runner and chaser. I don't know where this got started, but it's not an indication of soulmates and or the deepest, most profound eternal love. This is a psychological issue. This is in the realm of attachment theory. When our caregivers were supposed to be in tune with our needs. So what happens is that we form either the runner or the chaser, the seeker or the sort. And the seeker, the chaser, is afraid that if he stopped chasing, no one would chase him. And the runner, the sort, is afraid of engulfment, is afraid of getting swallowed up, left without identity. And these two forms of a psychological issue have different ways of relating. So the key is for the seeker to become the sort and the sort to become the seeker. And to transcend them is to become secure. And when we could do that, we can create intimacy. And intimacy does not last for a long time. Intimacy lasts for a short period of time, and then we have to separate and become our whole self again. And then we come together again. And this takes a lot of understanding. I have been working on this for decades. So the runner and chaser is not an indication of a deepest, most profound eternal love. So if you'd like to know more, visit my website at www.serenajade.co. And let's start working on the runner and chaser, the seeker and the sort. Bye for now.